fuck what you're doing now Quit doing that right now, baby I Got better things for you to do Got better things for you to see Got a better place for you to live And a better place for you to be Oh, baby what is up and welcome back to my channel um hey guys so today's video is gonna be a little different um it's gonna be kind of something similar to like an unpopular opinion this is just like um a random thought that i you know had just out the day or whatever and this is something that I might start like doing or whatever. Like, yeah, a uh, random thoughts video. I don't know what I want to call it, like a random thoughts or intrusive thoughts. I don't know. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. But um, <clears throat> if you have not subscribed to my channel, um, don't forget to like, comment, Put on your post notification bell so you get notified every time that I post. Follow me on Instagram at x underscore sweet november. And let's jump right into this video. So y'all, um, yeah. oh, excuse me, I'm not gonna lie, I've been kind of sad this past, I would say like three days, three, four day, days. Um, I just quit my job. <laughs> I just quit my job and I really wanted to try to stay a little longer, but niggas had me fucked up for the last time, so I had to stand on business. No, but it started messing with my mental and once, ever since I quit working at the daycare, I made like a promise to myself that once a job starts affecting my mental health to the point where like... I was having trouble sleeping. I was having anxiety in the morning and going to work a little bit and stuff like that. Like, you know, so once once a job start affecting my mental like that, then it's time for me to leave because I would never put a job before my mental health, um, before my well-being. I would never do that because my motto has been, I need a job, not this job. So, yeah um so yeah i quit um it's been a week um I, so like i said this is just like a, something that i decided to do just like some random a random thought that i had uh i have more of these like in my notes <coughs> but for this video i just just chose two um you know just to see how it does i feel like I'm a very intellectual person and I feel like when I be talking about certain shit, I really be speaking the truth. And I feel like I don't always get the opportunity to have certain types of conversations with people because certain people intellectually are just not there, not at the capacity or have the openness and perspective to have certain conversations and without getting defensive or without taking shit personally and stuff because you can have different views with someone and y'all can agree to disagree and have a conversation and that be that some people you can't have certain conversations with because motherfuckers start taking shit personal and getting in their emotions once they hear something that's like triggering or something that don't really fit with their ideas and stuff like that so <clears throat> the first um the first um, thing that I have from my notes is about women agreeing with misogynistic ideology. And um, the reason why I wrote this note is because I was looking at the this song that Party made about Megan. And I was looking in the comments, I think, it was either like the snippet of the song or it was him doing an interview about him speaking on a song. But I was looking in the comments and I seen a lot of women saying that Meg shouldn't be like mad that he made a whole song about her when she spoke on him and da da da, da. So I just seen a lot of women agreeing with 
the views of men that is like very like like i said misogynistic and i feel like bitches like that are pick me <laughs> because now with rap of course with the artistry with the beef and shit if you know that's just a part of rap you know somebody making this song i'm gonna respond da, da, da. but she made a line she made a made one line about him she didn't say his name but we knew she we was talk she was talking about him but she made one comment one line in a song about what she has been going through this nigga made a whole song off that one line about her telling her business and shit i feel like that was bitch shit i feel like men even if you are previously was in a relationship you should not be publicly arguing with a woman or down talking a woman i just feel like that's bitch shit um so yeah so this is my thoughts on that some of the women who were agreeing with him making a whole song about her when she just mentioned him in one line is crazy i have to write this down because like i said it was in my notes um and the fact that bitches is commenting like they know firsthand on what, on what went on in their relationship lets me know that people are too invested in someone else's life and it's hitting home for them. And they are projecting and it don't have shit to do with them. Because I noticed like a lot of, a lot of women were commenting like, like it was personal. Like they knew personally what Party and Meg into workings of their relationship it's like y'all don't fucking know y'all know what they tell us what they show us but y'all don't know what what was really going on in a relationship to have so much to say so much to comment like people be too invested in what other people got going on and especially celebrities that don't fucking know who you are and don't give a fuck about what you have going on in your personal life like I never understood that about certain people. Certain social media be having people minds fucking gone. Like, why are you so invested in someone else's life? I, I would never understand that. Um, I feel like if you are a woman who agrees with the misogynistic views of some of these men, then you are a pick me. <laughs> you are a pick me. I don't have. I don't. I don't see no other way around it. If you agree with what these these outlandish outrageous ass comments and statements that these men be making about women who are clearly hurt you're a pick me ass bitch you need to find yourself and stop trying to seek approval and validation from someone who knows nothing about what women really go through okay number one on top of that just because you make yourself more appeasing to the male gaze when some of these men wouldn't even spit on you if you were on fire, some of these men can't even fucking take and re take rejection. They will literally unalive you if you tell them that, no, I don't want your number, sir. Like, come on. Doesn't mean you've held yourself at a higher standard than other women. That man can still treat you like shit <laughs> and put you in the same predicament as the woman you belittle to make yourself feel better i don't like that either like why as a woman you have to down put or belittle another woman to make yourself feel better to make yourself feel validated in your relationship if your nigga was making you feel sure and secure about yourself you would never have to put down another woman ever even if the bitch ugly even if the bitch wasn't shit you should never have to put down another woman to make yourself feel or look better you should never have to do that i feel like men who have certain views on women and try to tell a woman how to be a woman <laughs> either don't have a good relationship with their mom or women in their family and they have a distorted um perception of, of women or he's being homophobic and fighting with the fact that he really want to be one of the girls you know um i just feel like um a lot of men either don't have a relationship a good relationship or a healthy relationship with their mothers or other women in their family so that's why you have this internalized 
hate for women or distrust or disdain or whatever for women. Or you fighting the fact that you, you really like niggas. You really like niggas or you want to be one of the girls. So it's like, be who you are, babe. Be who you are. Stop fighting it. <laughs> and if you have a messed up relationship with your mom or the women in your family to the point where it's fucking up the way that you feel about women, you need to go to therapy and work on yourself. <laughs> um, a man cannot tell a woman how to be a woman and a woman cannot tell a man how to be a man. You know, I don't like how men be trying to tell women a woman should do this, a woman should do that, a woman is made to do da, da, da. You're not a woman, my guy. You're not a woman. How can you tell me how I should be? And I'm not a man. I don't like when women do do that either. Um, a man, da, 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 man. You're not a man, sweetheart. You can't tell a man how he should be. Maybe how you expect him to be, how you would like him to be. But you can't tell a man how to be a man, and a man cannot tell a woman how to be a woman. Um, we are different for a reason. I can only tell a man what I expect from him based off my experiences and encounters with men in my life and vice versa. A man can't comment on something he has no firsthand knowledge about. A man cannot have cycles, he, a man cannot give birth. A man do not go through parts portal. A man do not experience his hysterectomies to where my whole ovaries and uterus and all of that has to be surgically removed out of my body to where I can no longer have children. Men do not go through those things. So I feel like you should not be trying to comment on the life of a woman and you do not experience those things. Men, women have to go through so much shit and are expected to put up with so much shit just because we're women. And I'm not saying that men don't have their struggles and their trials and tribulations that they have to go through and the stigmas that are put on them by society or by women. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying a lot of men have a lot of com comments about women, how they should dress, how they should present themselves and all. You're not women. So shut the fuck up. The only thing that you can do is tell me what you expect out of a woman based off of your relationships, maybe. The women that's in your life, the examples of women that you have had or you have seen. Then you can tell me what you expect, but you can't tell me how to be a woman or what a woman should be like. Okay? <clears throat> um, Yeah. As a woman, we should not be looking to a man to tell us who we are or to tell us our value. Look to yourself and look to the most high. And then I see a lot, a lot of women <clears throat> literally base their value and base their looks off of what a man says. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Not saying that we don't want to be attractive or, you know, especially when it comes to like relationships and stuff but a nigga should not be telling me you gotta dress like this you gotta wear your hair like this you gotta carry yourself like this you can't do this you can't cuss you can't smoke you can't what the fuck what the fuck i'm not looking to no man to tell me who i am i look i look within i look within myself and i look to god that's what i do and I feel like more women should do that. Fuck what a nigga got to say. For real. Because half of these niggas is trash any fucking ways. Any motherfucking way. So why would I Why would I try to look to a nigga? Some of these niggas that be saying those things, you're bummy as fuck. You don't have shit going for yourself for real. All you do is work, play the game, and hang out with your funky ass homeboys. Okay. Some of you niggas that got kids half-ass take care of your kids. Okay. So why would I take advice from you? Let me know something. So yeah, so that's um that's one of my notes. 
about misogynistic ideology and some of these women agreeing with the ideology is insane to me but you know find yourself sister and look to the most high so you can get that guidance mm -hmm. now the second thing that i want to uh talk about was um liars um i know everybody lies for different reasons but i don't really like liars in the sense of lying for no fucking reason when you don't have to you know or when you're presented with the opportunity to tell the truth and you still decide to lie to me to me personally so yeah this is how i feel about that um, the older I get, the more I realize I don't like people who lie to me, especially when I give them a chance to be honest. I understand everyone lies about different things for different reasons. One thing I don't like is lying when you really don't have a reason to other than the fear of how I might react to the truth. But the whole time not knowing, I am such an understanding person. And I will have so much more respect for you as a person if you tell me the truth, no matter how hurtful you think it might be. I'd rather be hurt over the truth versus trying to piece together the lies to find the truth. I really don't like that. Like, if nothing else, I want you to be honest with me. Whether you feel like it's going to hurt my feelings or not still be honest with me because then i i respect you i respect you i'm like damn that shit hurt my feelings but at least he was honest at least he told me the truth and i could just take it for what it is and move forward like that but you sitting here lying to me not telling me the truth for real or just giving me beats bits of the truth still being deceitful then that's when i can't fuck with you because now i can't believe anything that you say and now the trust is out of there because now i'm gonna feel like is this nigga lying or is he telling the truth because i can't tell you know also i don't like people who lie to benefit to benefit themselves or get thing, things to go their way because that is a form of manipulation <laughs> i don't like people that do that either like i'm gonna give y'all an example while I was working while I was working at the coffee shop. One day my manager, he told me to uh well he asked me to um was this the same day? I think it was. It, he asked me to go to the store to pick up some lemonade because we were out and I told him like I had forgot to go on my lunch break, so I was just going to go after I got off work. Like as soon as I clocked out, go to the store up the street, come back, drop it off, and go home. So he was like, okay. And then like a little couple minutes later, he called. He was like, Well, can you go ahead and go to the store? Because um such and such it want uh, a certain drink, and then I'm coming up there to make some for some people. So I need you to go ahead and go to the store. So that pissed me off because it's like I told you that I would go get it after I got out of work. I literally got two, maybe an hour and a half left of my shift. You know, so I end up leaving, going to the store, coming back. Um, The nigga never came back up there to so-called make the drinks that he was, people was calling him asking for. The nigga never came up there to make the drinks that day or the next day. So you were just lying to me to get your way, being manipulative. I don't like that shit. Um, being that I've emotionally manipulated people to get my way before, I know when somebody is trying to manipulate me. I'm not stupid. I'm going and and that's one thing that I have to say about me. I'm very observant. I peep a lot of shit out. Whether you think I didn't catch it or not, I caught it. Now, whether I speak up on it or not, that's a different story. But I peeped that. Nine times out of ten, I peeped the shit. So you don't think that you really pulling some shit over my eyes? You can only pull some shit over my eyes if I let you. If I let you. 
don't think that you'll run again. I'm not green. I'm not green. I, the way that I present myself, you may think that I'm not knowledgeable on shit, but like I say, I'm very intellectual. I like to learn new things. Um, I like to study things. I'm very diverse in my knowledge of things of the world and music, movies, all of that type of shit. History, history was one of my favorite subjects in school. So, with that being said, like I said, I'm a very observant. Don't think that you are getting one over on me, babe. Because you're not. If I let some shit slide, it's because I feel like it wasn't worth me speaking on. And I'm just let God handle you since you think that I'm stupid. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I just had to put that out there. Because people, people, I don't, like, people try to test my intelligence. Or people try to do shit to me. And, and, like, I'm stupid. Like, I'm green. Like, I'm not on game. Like, bitch, I peeped your shit. Why you think you really doing something? I peeped it. There is a certain level of consciousness and self-awareness that I have gained while on my spiritual journey. And because of that, I am able to recognize when someone lacks self-awareness through their actions and how they talk and how they talk. Most people who are not on a certain level of conscious consciousness are self-centered. They lack empathy and compassion for others. They have a narrow perception of the world and they'll probably acknowledge that they have things to work on, but lack the motivation and self-love to actually do something about it and just chalk it up to this is who I am, you know? And I, I, if you notice a lot of people that don't have self, self-awareness, they are manipulative. They are very selfish in the way that they move self-centered. Because it's okay to be selfish sometimes because, you know, people take uh, advantage of your niceness and shit. So, sometimes you have to be selfish. But being self-centered is another thing. You make it everything about you. Whether it's good or bad. Oh, I got I got some good news today and I'm telling you, you turn around and make that shit about you. That's very self-centered. Or I got some shit going on and I'm sad and I'm feeling down. And you like, well, look at the shit that's going on in my life. That's very self-centered. You know, people that lack self-awareness and consciousness, they lack empathy. They're not very compassionate. They're not very kind. Like, they just go through life not really living in reality for real, you know? So you just have to pay attention to that. Pay attention to how people treat other people, how they interact with other people, how they talk, all of that type of stuff. And you'll be able to see, like, this person is very selfish. They don't give a fuck about nobody but their self for real. This person don't show no type of compassion. They're always angry or bitter. And it's like, oh, well, bitch, life is worse. Life, you know, people that are pessimistic and negative and all of that. Baby, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I really do. Um, at any time in life, anyone is capable of changing themselves for the better you just have to want it bad enough. That's also a way you can tell if someone has a personal relationship with God. Because once you start getting to know God on a personal level, he will force you to go within yourself and heal the things that are keeping you from living a prosperous life of abundance. Most people try to hide what brings them the most pain and mask it with other things. But you can't hide from yourself and you can't hide from God. Um... The Most High loves you so much that he doesn't want you to suffer. But people will continue to contribute to their own suffering because they refuse to be honest with themselves. I have seen a quote. I have seen a quote and then my, my, my therapist told me this too. If you can't be honest with yourself, you can't be honest with other people. You know? So if you are... If you had an opportunity to work on yourself internally and you are not honest with yourself and to the ways that you have contributed to some of the things that have went wrong in your life or some of the situations that you may have put yourself in and you just looking for someone to blame and all of that type of stuff like that is not that is not what god is about 
God is about love. God is about understanding. God is about clarity and going within yourself to find yourself. When you find yourself, you find him. When you find him, you find yourself. <laughs> you know, so it's like I always I always advocate and even as I've gotten older, one thing that I have to that I'm now going to start taking into consideration and really asking people because I ask people do they believe in God, but I don't ask people do they have a relationship with God. Because I was just telling my sister this today. You can believe in God but not have a relationship with him. You can go to church and go to Bible study and all of that type of stuff and read your Bible and all that and still not have a personal, intimate relationship with God. Because you don't, you pray, but you don't take the time out to sit down and listen to God. That's, that's why prayer and meditation go hand in hand. Because I'm going to pray to God and I'm going to ask him for what I need, but I'm going to still take the time to sit down and listen to him. Listen to his. I can't ask for his guidance and then don't listen to him for the guidance. I can't ask him for courage or bravery or strength and then not take the time out to listen to him for what what that what is that going to look like for me what is my next step what is my next move and then i don't take the time out to listen i'm still going on with life you know they say faith without work is dead you know i can't say that i believe in god and i believe that god gonna get me out this situation but i'm not doing nothing myself to get myself out this situation and that's part of the reason why i was feeling down because i just feel like I'm 25 and I feel like I should be further than what I am. But then, too, I have to sit back and be honest with myself and know that I've held myself back in certain situations. I've talked myself out of things, you know. So it's like I've had times where I was unmotivated and I was lazy and I didn't speak life into myself, you know. And it's so it's like... I have to be the one to say, I can ask God for the guidance and ask God and say, God, I don't know what to do. Can you tell me? And all of that. But once he tell me, what am I going to do about it? You know, if God, I, that's why I say, God has told me about the life that he has for me. And then I know it's a good one, but it's still up to me to try to pursue that life for real. You know, and that's what I feel like this is what this is my season to really do that, to really put my best foot forward and to get the things done that I said that I've been praying for that I've been asking God for. You know, it's on me to do the work to to get those goals accomplished. And I know that I could I know that I could do it because, like I've said previously, I've gotten things done like I done this shit for myself, you know. And I just have to, yeah, I just have to find that motivation to ignite that passion, that fire, that spark back within myself so I can really push myself to get my goals accomplished. But yeah, um, so that's, I hope y'all enjoyed this video like i said i i don't have like a lot of opportunities to really speak my mind when it comes to certain um topics and views and stuff like that like i talk to my sister about stuff like this all the time but she the only one that i talk to about stuff like this and like i said i said some everybody's probably not gonna agree with me and that's fine but i feel like some of the shit that i be saying it be real shit it be you know so yeah um don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel put on your post notification bell so you get notified every time that i post follow me on instagram at x underscore sweet november and yeah like i said i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in the next one. But she don't love me, she's too scary